abandon most of what you thought you knew about yourself because in the process of a lot of triumph at college you're going to learn a lot of things about yourself that you wouldn't have known had an, if it hadn't been put to the test. Pick a different school. <laughs> I mean, no, you're fine, you're fine. And listen, if you like living in a city, you're good. If, if I were to come here when I was 17 years old and like the only outdoor places for me to go were to be like two lawns and every venue I needed a 21 plus ID, I'd go crazy. If you're a little more optimistic about it, I would say just to really explore your opportunities and not feel locked in to something that you feel like you need to do. It's really important to explore as much as you can in your freshman year because uh, that is when you will feel the most carefree. Because, I mean, there's a core curriculum here. There's so many required classes in like all sorts of fields. And that's really an opportunity for you to take those first two years here and just feel everything out. Like when I came here, I was like, I just came from a college where I was a computer science major. I started majoring in biochemistry here. Now I'm majoring in art and architecture. And that better be my last choice because, you know, college is too expensive. You know, like take that journey. And like that, don't get all psyched out by people looking all stressed out and stuff. It's, it's aesthetic mostly. It's a Manhattan thing. It's really hard to do, but you're gonna be a lot better off if you try to like chip away at your work a little bit every single day rather than leaving it all to the end. Maybe like learn to balance your time a little bit. It's kind of cliched advice, but like, and I definitely don't always follow that advice, but like, the times when my mental health is the best are when I'm doing everything every day. It's really tempting to either spend all your time in the library or um, like go out all the time because it's New York and there's so much to do. Like I think just like treat school like a nine to five job. Like if you're if you're putting in like nine to five hours every day, like you should probably be pretty good. But you really just have to like learn to balance it quickly, otherwise you'll get really depressed and a lot of people have to leave for semesters, it's just like, it's a really intense place to be for a lot of reasons, just both the city and the school, so. Take a year off. I think that is really important that I don't think a lot of students uh, feel comfortable doing in the United States. But almost everyone I talk to, you know, in their late 20s, postgraduate, maybe they're coming back to school for a second time, like will frequently say that they wish they would have taken time off and wish they would have had some time to kind of like cultivate interest outside of like this kind of like very secluded experience. For incoming freshmen, I'd say one of the most important things to do is to put yourself out there. Say hi to people. Uh, that's the, the single biggest tip I have for any, any college student, you don't have to be a freshman for that, but particularly as freshman year. Don't be afraid to introduce yourself to new people, especially during like the first uh, few months. Like everyone's kind of getting to know each other. You'll make a bunch of acquaintances your first couple months. People are so desperate to have friends that they'll just introduce each other to everybody. Uh, you'll separate yourself from everybody else if you not only kind of like remember their name, but when you see them in passing and there's that awkward moment when you're both sort of, you realize they're there, but you also realize that you could both act like you didn't see each other and go away. If you jump it and say hey and like wave to them, smile, it'll go the, a world of difference for how they think of you and what they perceive of you. That's what I, I've done since I got here and it's served me really well. As well as just getting close to your peers because you can't do this alone. We all need each other and you're going to need your fellow classmates to be successful here. Join different clubs. Don't, don't focus so much on academics. Don't stress too much about classes. It's not always about the work. You, you, what you get in the classroom is just fast of it. Make sure to, you know, get out of the bubble, go out in the city, um, meet people that you've never uh, engaged with. The classes matter, but there's way more to take out of Columbia University uh, if you're prepared to go out of your way to meet people and do things that venture outside your routine. Also, be sure to know that you know, there's a day after another, so don't worry about the presence and just keep focusing on what your goals are. It's something I learned in the Army. I'd say it's uh, everything's temporary. You know, your discomfort now is absolutely temporary and it's going to be shorter than, than it seems in the moment, especially like the younger you are. Um, as a few years go by, you'll see that uh, your view of time starts to warp. 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 When you realize that everything is temporary, you all you have to do is push through it. Go in not 
feeling super stressed about what you want to do. You should try to find what you like to do instead of what you think you should do. Because with the core, at least at Columbia, like, or even just um, college in general, you can like take classes for different things. And I know like a lot of people who come in with a, like very focused, they, it's like either really good or really bad um, in like the sense that sometimes like being on like this track, you wouldn't do something that like you maybe would have liked. But so yeah, I went in with an open mind and I was like, I'll take a bunch of different classes. I like actually went in as a film major. And then I was like, no, I want to do art history. So I don't know, I think it's cool to just not be so narrow-minded. You, you have an image of what college is going to be. And like it's, I'm not saying, oh, it's going to be disappointed by that, but just stay open to changes from that ideal image. Stay open to like, and stop, you might feel homesick and it's okay. Like you might at the same time be very excited to be there. It might feel a little campy. Um, sorry, NSOP is the orientation program, so that's the acronym we call it. But I would just say, like, let it happen. Like, don't have any expectations, um, if you can. I know it's very hard because, like, we've all, like, watched movies and seen TV shows. Like, college is this big, awesome thing. And it is, but um, just let whatever happens happen. Uh, take classes that truly interest you and join clubs that are interesting to you, also. Freshman year is great for exploring passions outside of academic work. Uh, so be involved in extracurricular activities, uh, activism, community service. Yeah, I think these are all uh, really good and it will be very fulfilling at the end of your freshman year. Budget. Like stay on top of your funds at all times. Every part of this city is designed to finesse you. So <laughs> stay vigilant. Definitely want to budget. Um, definitely want to be safe and definitely want to study really, really, really hard um, and get the best grades you can and also apply the knowledge that you learn in class because I think it's one thing to study but there's another thing to apply everything you learn and that's when you can really become a master. My advice is that study hard but don't like beat up yourself too much. Try to relax, try to get, get enough sleep, try to make friends. Just don't be so stressed out, don't take it so seriously. Number one, don't overwhelm yourself with classes because if you're coming from a high school, even if you do well, um, the curriculum here is very rigorous, it's very challenging. So if you were in AP classes and you took, or if you were in a community college or whatever and you took six classes, you have a 4.0 GPA, as I did, um, transitioning here, you're gonna realize that the curriculum is much more challenging. So I recommend definitely forming a very good relationship with your advisor and seeing which classes that you could take at first to adapt to the curriculum. Oh yeah, definitely take advantage of like this, this campus and like the resources. My undergrad didn't nearly have enough resources as much as here. And I feel like if I had gone here, the amount of like, I don't know, messing around that I did in undergrad probably wouldn't have happened. I mean, you know, if you're ready to like sort of jump right into it, if you're done playing, uh, being a kid, and you're ready to sort of like grow up and greet New York with what New York is ready to greet you with, then come to Columbia. It's great. There's a lot of opportunities for a self-starter like that. Uh, I went to a small liberal arts college upstate right out of high school, and you know, I got to fuck around so much. It, I think the campus was maybe like 200 acres, most of it was woods, you know, whatever. Anything goes. So yeah, there's a lot here. Just take advantage of it. <laughs>